Daddy. <laughs> oh, well, well, well. What have we here? A four-leaf clover. Oh, <laughs> lucky me. La, 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 huh? la, 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 la. What is that beautiful sound? La, 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 la. La, 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 la. There's a note you don't hear every day. What's up, Cinepup? You want to go play with your friends? Well, go on. Have fun. La, 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 la. My, my, those creatures are a menace to the safety of the public. Plants. Ooh. Hey! Come on, guys! Get it out! Little guys have a lot of energy. I think we better go get them before they get into any more trouble. Cut <laughs> 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 it out! <laughs> These are grocery bags, not chew toys. Puppy, <laughs> 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 come here. Boy. <laughs> Of it. Like where? Like a place where they could play. A place all their own. Like a park or a... Hey, that's it. A dog park. That's a great idea, Strawberry. We could ask Huck to help. I think his hotel for homeless pets in Berry Big City has a dog park. I bet he'd have lots of great ideas. I'm calling him. Hello, Huck? Strawberry. Hi, Strawberry. How are you? Oh, fine. Fine. I'm here with lemon, plum, blueberry, and raspberry. Just say hi. Huck says hi. Hi, hi Huck! <laughs> <laughs> we were wondering if you had time to come down here. Well, sure. Why? Well, we could use your advice on a little problem. Or rather, seven little problems. What kind of problems? What kind of problems? <laughs> this kind! <laughs> See what I mean? Sure do. I'll be by in the morning. Oh, that'll be great. Thanks. See you. Bye! He'll be here in the morning. I hope we can hold out that long. Come, Come here, you! <laughs> La 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 Morning, Strawberry! Please, don't stop. I love listening to you sing. It's very beautiful. <laughs> they enjoy it, too. Thanks. La 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 
in the world do you sing like that? Well, I practice a lot, but I couldn't hit that high note without this. My good luck charm. I think your singing is more than luck, Cherry. It comes from all the practicing you do. I found it one day when I was taking a walk in the country. The next day, I recorded my first hit record. I could never hit the high notes before I had it. Now I keep it with me whenever I sing. La, 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 la! Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Here we go again. Easy, guys. No, no! Oh, come back here! Strawberry, I didn't have the charm. I must have dropped it when I was putting it in my pocket. That's why I couldn't hit the high note. Cherry, I really don't... <gasps> Come here, Marmalade. Don't think your charm had... Scouty! Had anything to do with... Oh, Peter Patch! Hmm. Oh, it's up! Just in time. <sighs> <laughs> Looks like you have your hands full. No, cut it out! Give me your hand. Here you go. Phew! Now you see why we thought a dog park might help these guys burn off some energy. <laughs> a dog park's a great idea. I already made some sketches. I thought you could put a puppy playground here, uh, a fountain for drinking over there, uh, some places to cool off in the shade. Huck, this is wonderful. It's exactly what we need. How long do you think it'll take you to build it? Me? Oh, uh, I didn't know you wanted me to. We can have a grand opening next week. It could be done by then, right? A big gala, food, music, entertainment. Oh, I could sing. The Berry Kids will help, of course. We'll need decorations, flyers, invitations. Think you could help us, Huck? Uh, sure. Why not? Great. When can you start? Well, I guess I could start now. Great! This is our lucky day! are on the job. On the job. We are going to give this project the highest degree of craftsmanship. Craftsmanship. Nothing less than perfection. Perfection. It is the Berrykin way. Oh. Hi, Huck. Uh, How's it going? Moving right along. These guys, uh, really know what they're doing. Yo, uh, Mr. Huckleberry, boss. Did you want these Blivet support corners, 14 by 93s or 72 by 67s? Oh. Well, we want it to be safe, of course. Wouldn't want it to, you know, <laughs> fall down. You got it, boss. You see, Earl, the code you'd want the 72 67s. Sorry, boss. I'll never doubt you again. <laughs> Huck, is everything okay? Hey, no problem. I've got it covered. Uh oh. Uh, Mr. Huckleberry, you better have a look at this. Sounds like they, <laughs> you know, need me. Sure it is. Couldn't be. I can see it, I tell you. And I tell you, I can't. So, what's the problem? Not good. Not good at all. Wall's crooked. We're reading point zero 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 three off straight and level. Hey, what do you think, boss? Oh, well, boy. Hmm. Looks more like point zero 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 two, wouldn't you say, boss? Zero 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 three. Well, uh, looks like a three to me. <laughs> uh. Okay, people. Gonna have to tear this out and start over. Let's get some shovels on this thing. Put some muscle in it. It is the Berrykin Way. Barrican Way. I can't let them find out, Tom Tom. They'll think I'm a total fraud. Which I am. <sighs> Everything I build falls apart. That doghouse I built. And the fence I built. And the treehouse I built. What am I gonna do when they find out? Tom, come on. Hmm. 
Maybe if I practice, without anybody knowing, maybe I'll get the hang of it. I mean, how hard can it be? There, check that out, Tom Tom. I built the whole thing, and it didn't fall down. That's one fine wall, if I do say so myself. What? Wrong? Oh, you know, <sighs> I'm a klutz, that's all. Everybody thinks I'm a great builder, but I can't build anything. I thought maybe if I practiced, <sighs> but you see how it turned out. Look, Huck, not everybody's good at everything. Learning to build things is like anything else. It takes patience, practice, and confidence. I read somewhere that a good building is like a good friendship. It needs a strong, solid foundation. When you build from a good base, you get something that lasts forever. Yeah. Thanks, Strawberry. You know, Tom Tom, maybe Strawberry's right. I need to have patience. I need to practice. I need a good foundation. And some plain old luck wouldn't hurt. Well, there's a lucky find. Nice. Wonder where it came from. Any minute now. Hey. What's wrong with this thing? <laughs> Something very strange here. Incredible! <laughs> well, Tom Tom, I guess my luck has finally changed. And it changed when I found this. I never saw anything like it. Zero point zero zero. Zero! <gasps> Absolutely, perfectly, completely straight! The Barricade Way! for you. I never knew you were such a badminton ace. Neither did I. Great shot. Wow. Hooks, you are so good at horseshoes. Oh, just lucky. Have the wall finished. The Barricans are finishing installing the sprinklers now. The playground's already done. Will it be ready for the grand opening? Oh, yeah. We're ahead of schedule. All that's left is the big <laughs> entry, and it'll be... Cherry, what's the matter? 
my good luck. Charm, I can't, can't find it anywhere. What's it look like, Cherry? This big, on a chain, crystal, beautiful, all sparkly, and I can't sing at all without it. Cherry, you know you can sing. You don't need luck for that. But I do, Strawberry. I can't hit the high notes without it. Come on, Cinnapup. Look for it, girl. Find it. Remember, Cherry, we make our own luck with practice. Right, Huck? <laughs> Huckleberry? Oh, Tom Tom, I know it's hers, but it's lucky for me, too. If I give it back, I'll be a klutz forever. It's gone, Cinnapup. It's gone. Cherry, hold on. Hi, Huck. What's up? I just. I wanted to tell you. You. Want to get some lunch? I don't really feel like it. Thanks. Are you still upset about losing that thing? Mm-hmm. My lucky charm. Maybe Strawberry was right. Maybe you don't need it. I tried to hit that high note without it. I couldn't. Cherry? Cherry, listen. Oh. I need to tell you something. About that. Yo, Mr. Huckleberry, sir! Big news! Very big news! <clears throat> the Perrykin Builders Guild has decided to make you an honorary member of the Society of Extraordinary Engineers. Congratulations, boss! A rare honor indeed, richly deserved by such a talented builder. That's fantastic, Huck. Don't know what to say, but I don't deserve this. Really, I don't. No one deserves it more! Nonsense! This is it, Tom Tom. The keystone. The last, most important piece. As soon as it's done, I'll give Cherry her lucky charm back. Huh? <laughs> Cherry? Oh, I didn't know anyone was here. Are you all right? Mm, I'm okay. I'm just sorry I can't sing at the party. After all the work you've done. The place looks wonderful, Huck. I don't know how you did it. Yeah, about that. I think this is yours. I found it. Huck! Oh, this is incredible! Thank you! Oh, you don't know how much this means! Now I can... La, la, la... <clears throat> la... I can do it! I can hit the high notes again! That thing's amazing! I was a total klutz till I found it. Then I was the best builder ever. I don't understand it myself, but it really works, doesn't it? La, 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 la. Tomorrow, I'll tell the Barricans I'm no engineer. It was all luck. I've got a hole in my pocket? Hold on. I hit the high note, but I didn't have the charm. Maybe what Strawberry said was... Let's try something, Huck. Let's test it. What do you mean? Here goes. Patience, practice, and confidence is the key. La, 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 la. Now, your turn. You're doing it, Huck. Yeah, but now the real test. I have to take out the supports. Look at it, as steady as a rock. <laughs> you did it! 
did it! <laughs> we did it! <laughs> yeah! <laughs> What's going on out here? You were right, Strawberry. I never needed that charm. Neither of us did. Hard work works better than luck. Is it finished? Is it done? Yep, it's all ready. <laughs> hey, Huck, I have an idea. A souvenir we can share. Thanks, Cherry. This really was my lucky day. <laughs> story you told. I'd like to write up a version of it sometime. A tale of twins in the very deep dark forest. No such place. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I gotta get back to work. What was that? My instructional camping video. No, what did you mean by no such place? It's just that everywhere I've been, and I've been almost everywhere there is to go, I've never heard a very deep dark forest. Yeah? Well, maybe you got a better story? Ooh, I don't know. I think Sour and Sweet's adventure would be hard to top. Oh, I could top it. Easy peasy. Then why don't you? Here, stay with us. Tell us a story. Yeah! yeah. Come on, Apple. We want to hear about your big adventure that's more exciting, uh, thrilling, and daring than the one Sour and Sweet just told. Okay. I'll just make it quick. Well, this story, it was the kind of thing that happens to me all the time. I'm sure. Well, it was... Adventure! Thrills! Danger! That's my life, don't you know? This particular time, I was reporting on the very bitty great race for my very best bits travel page. The four-leg course was an equestrian-style cross-country, a mountain climb, a hot air balloon race, and a sailboat race. Of course, to report it, <laughs> I had to enter it. Huh, thank you, Tea Time. Riders to your mouth. <gasps> These are the moments an adventurer lives for. <laughs> Contestants were already mounted on their steeds. I gave them a sportsmanly nod of encouragement. <gasps> Little did I know, they had no intention of behaving in a sporting way. There were Mr. McSnivels, Guava Gutter Snipe, and Cruddy Do No Good. I felt there was something oddly sinister in the way they smiled back at me. But I paid it no mind at the time. Look at her. Not enough. She's won 199 races. She has to make it 200. Greed, I tell you, greed! Wretched girl! And her little turtle, too! This time, she'll never reach the finish line. <laughs> Not if I have anything to say about it. Or do no good about it. <laughs> The sun in your face, the wind in your hair, the power of your noble steed leaping over every obstacle. What happened next, Apple? Yes, then what? Well, Tea Time and I were doing great. Way ahead of the pack. <laughs> ahead already? What a surprise. Nah, it wasn't any surprise. It looked like things were gonna turn out exactly like the other 199 races I'd won. But then, all of a sudden, without any warning, dastardly deeds threatened to thwart my stellar performance. What I didn't know was, 
Evil doings were afoot. Broccoli! No rabbit can resist it! Apple Dumplin's chance to win is doomed! <laughs> Genius, Mr. McSnibbles! Pure G... Uh, just really smart. Thank you, Miss Guttersnipe. of geometry and mechanical engineering, I figured out just what to do. This one. <laughs> Curses! Foiled again! The villains! <laughs> what a couple of cheaters they were! Unbelievable! I mean, incredible! I mean, that's really obnoxious. I hope that was the last you saw of them. Um, not quite. Here, Apple, try some hot chocolate. Mmm, that's really good! Okay, well, what happened next? Did you win the race? Yeah, what do you mean, not quite? Ugh, you mean there's more? Oh, yeah. Did Gutter Snipe and McSnibbles come back? They did indeed. Because their dastardly deeds in the cross country race were only the beginning of their, um, dastardliness. Relax, Tea Time. We just gotta get to the top, down the other side, fly a hot air balloon to the lake, and sail across it to the finish line. Easy peasy. Always going swimmingly, or should I say climbingly, when out of a blue and sunny sky, we were hit by a blizzard. What I didn't know at the time was, it wasn't a blizzard at all. It looked like we were doomed. Until, all of a sudden, I spotted shelter. What was that? Let's 
legendary abominable snow beast a very big peak. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Some may have trembled in fear. Some may have fled for their very lives. Not me. No matter what the cost, I had to find out what it was. Well, what was it? What did you find? Weren't you afraid? Me? <laughs> Terrified. Farther and farther, we ventured into the darkness, not knowing what sort of beast we would encounter. For the love of Lederhosen, who are you? I'm Apple Dumplin, and this is Tea Time Turtle. We're competing in the very bitty great race. I'm Ilsa, and this is my twin sister Elsa. Do you yodel? Do I what? Yodel. Like this. Yole, yole, yole. Wait! We agreed to yodel always in the key of B flat. Ah, says you, it was the key of C. B flat. C. B flat. C. Um, excuse me. Perhaps this key would work for both of you. Bless my strudel, a D-sharp person. Yeah, I think you're right. Well, shall we try? And the one, and the two. Yole, yole, yole. My goodness gracious, we rocked! <laughs> <laughs> You better get over there. You are in first place. You want to keep it that way, yeah? Well, this tunnel turned out to be kind of a shortcut. So I think I better wait until the rest of the contestants catch up. Only fair. Ugh, sauerkraut, who will know? You could get a big head start. A race is only fun if it's fair. Come on, tea time. We'll wait at the balloon launch. Good luck, Apple Dumpling. And remember, wherever you go, keep yodeling! A race is only fun if it's fair. That's what I told him. So you can imagine my shock to find Cruddy do no good, doing no good. What'd she do? What was it? Untying all the balloons so she wouldn't have any competition. Do that? It's not fair! <laughs> fair schmear! <laughs> See if I care! <laughs> <laughs> she did it! Wait! Look! Hold on, tea time! <laughs> Tea time! The St. Bernard Rescue! 
rescue dog here to save us! He led us to a tropical fruit stand on the mountain. <laughs> a tropical fruit stand <laughs> on a mountain? Is this not getting just a bit ridiculous? May I continue? Oh, oh yes, please! Yes, 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 please. <laughs> <laughs> Morning or noonin or afternoonin. Welcome to Fern Fron's Tropical Fruit Stand. I'm Fern Fron, but you can call me Fern, friend. Nice to meet you, friend. Fern, uh, I'm Apple Dumpling, and I'm competing in the Berry Bitty Great Race. Ooh, you're about a mountain off course. I saw some real treachery going on up there in the sky. Could it be someone wasn't playing nice with others? Hmm, pretty much, yeah. Hmm, sorry about that. How about a frozen banana chocolate pop? A Fern Franz specialty. Actually, would it be possible for me to purchase this banana peel? Certainly, but what would you want with that? Uh, huh. looks like you've got someone who doesn't play well with others heading your way. Peel? Sure thing. Come on, tea time. They're gaining on us. Hey, why, that's, that's stealing! Stealing, schmealing, after that peeling! Hey, that's stealing too! That's right! One bad turn deserves another! Ruddy do no good. In all my days as head official of the Berry Bitty Great Race, never have I seen the level of treachery and dastardliness that you have displayed today. Wait, it's true. You never have seen, because you weren't there. You didn't see us. How do you know we did those dastardly villainy things we did? Uh, you say we did. I'm with Cruddy. Where are your witnesses? Witnesses, you say? Allow me to introduce you to our race rule monitors. You think we just sit around all day and yodel? We've been keeping an eye on you. <gasps> and it wasn't just bad deeds they were monitoring either. Apple Dumpling? For winning the race, and most importantly, for your good sportsmanship, I award you First prize! What a great <laughs> story! <laughs> what great imagination! Apple's a tall tale natural! Good job, Apple. Gotta admit, that was the best story yet. <sighs> you win first prize for imagination. Imagination? What do you mean? I didn't make it up. Every word was true! <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. <laughs> okay. Sure it was. Tea time? My scrapbook, please. Thank you. Wow! Whoa, 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 whoa. Wow! <laughs> Wait, 
You mean that story you told really was real? Well, sure. Wasn't yours? No. no. We made it up. What? Why? It's our camp of tradition. <laughs> Roasting marshmallows, hot chocolates, sitting around the campfire telling tall tales. We do it every year. Didn't you hear us talking about telling tall tales? Uh, no. I guess I was working on my camping video and I missed it. <laughs> you didn't miss it, because you told a great story. Well, if I can make up a story, the very bitty great race is nothing compared to what I could tell in a tall tale. But as it stands now, I'd say sour and sweet win first prize for imagination. Thanks, but you can't give this to us. No, no, it's okay. I've won 200 of them. In fact, did I ever tell you about the trans-desert treasure of the Lost Pyramid Road Rally? No, but um, what about your video project? Ah, that can wait. We're on a camp out. I want to do what you guys are doing. Great! Let me heat up more hot chocolate. Any more marshmallows? Well, there I was, in the middle of the greatest sandstorm to hit the desert in years. before the cafe opens. Hmm, guess it's a good morning to clean out the fridge. Oh, that's right. I cleaned it yesterday. <laughs> hmm, clean the oven. Oh, forgot. <laughs> cleaned it the day before. Looks like I'm all out of things to do. Hey, Pupcake. Think we should go strawberry shopping? <laughs> I'll take that as a yes. <laughs> <laughs> hey, come back! Cupcake, come back here! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Plum! Good morning, Strawberry! Good morning, Blueberry! Good morning, Strawberry! Hi, Raspberry! That fragrance. Oh, my new lemon hair scent. Like it? Oh, delicious. Great! I have a new strawberry scented shampoo that'd be perfect for you. Stop by later, I'll give you some. Thank you. <laughs> Morning, Orange. Morning, Strawberry. Where are you off to? Soon as I can catch Pupcake to Berry Glen for some strawberries. Need anything while I'm there? Um, yes. Pick me a few sunflower seeds. You got it. Pop cake. <laughs> there you are. Now please don't budge. I gotta get some sunflower seeds for orange. Oh. 
This should do it. in the berry bitty world who shrunk the sunflowers Strawberry Shortcake, you are out early today. What is all this? My latest, greatest invention. A plant food that grows berry betty fruits and vegetables. No more rolling apples all the way into town. Now they're just the right size for us. Mmm, very delicious too. <laughs> Thank you. But there's only one problem. <sighs> My berry bitty harvest is a bit more bountiful than I expected. Thank you. We've got to get these to Orange's general store before they spoil. Wait till she sees these. She'll be so excited. I'll help you, Berry Can Bloom. Thimbles, check. Thread, check. Berries and bobbins, buttons and bows. Check and check, check and check. Can I get you anything else? No, thank you, Orange. This is all I need. Alrighty then. And thank you for shopping at Orange's General Store. Where there's a place for everything and a thing for every place. Morning, Orange. Good morning, Barry Can Bill. And what can I get for you today? I'll need three bolts, six nails, 12 pails, a bag of rags, a box of socks, and half a dozen wooden blocks. Got it. Oh, what kind of wood? Well, I hadn't really thought much about... I have pine, cherry, oak, mahogany, peach, apple, elm, ash, beech, hickory, ebony, cedar, poplar, maple, spruce, sycamore, teak, rosewood, rubberwood, cottonwood, walnut, and willow. Um... I'm having a special this week on willow. I'll take willow. Good choice. And will there be anything else? Got any sunflower seeds? Ooh, all out. But a fresh shipment is coming in today. Oh, Orange, I got your sunflower seeds. See? If we don't have it, we'll get it at Orange's General Store. The place where there's a place for everything and a thing for, um, every some place? <laughs> Good morning, Orange. Might you have room in your store for some delicious, nutritious, berry bitty fruits and vegetables? Fresh from my berry own bitty garden? Wow. Um, yeah, uh, sure. Of course. Bring it on. You know, this is a lot of stuff. Can I give you some help making room for it? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. I can make room on my own. Well, okay, but if you need any help rearranging... Don't be silly, Strawberry. Organization is my specialty. Okay, bring it in! <gasps> Dirt. <laughs> 
This is not a toy. <laughs> Door with a thing for every place has too many things and not enough places. Looks like Orange could use our help. Every time I ask, she says she's got it under control. Psst. Do you want to see what under control looks like? spare time, I reorganized all my potholders, alphabetized my spices, and now I'm sketching some designs for a bedroom makeover. Orange has got to be swamped. Too bad she won't let us help her. I know. I think she's sensitive about accepting help. She feels it's like admitting she failed. Did she ever come by for breakfast? Nope. I finally had to give away the stack of waffles I'd saved for her. <laughs> At least they didn't go to waste. <laughs> Poor Orange, she's got to be hungry. It's almost lunchtime. I'm bringing her a sandwich. Least I can do. See you, Lemon. Okay, later. Galloping gooseberries. Radishes and rutabagas. Who wanted the radishes and rutabagas? Hey, you know what? Tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas. Who asked for tomatoes, potatoes, turnips, and peas? Me, 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 me. Excuse me. Um, pardon me. Beg your pardon. Oh, excuse me. Wow, is business ever booming? I brought you a sandwich. Thanks, but I can't take a lunch break just now. Papayas and peaches! Who ordered the papayas and... Right here, right here, right here! Just a bit busy. Wow, you really were 
worked out a great system here. <laughs> Hi. <laughs> Excuse me, those are for produce only. creative experience, nothing beats painting in a watercoloring book. <laughs> Extraordinary talent! You may want to enroll him in an advanced painting class. She'll get upset. Oh, that's just silly. Helping each other is what friends are for. And I have plenty of spare time today. Look how pretty all the vegetables look in these crates. Well, she's got it into her head that the mess came from her store. And if she doesn't clean it herself, Mom thinks she isn't good at running her store. It's not her fault. There isn't enough room for all this stuff in her store. Yeah, what you'd need is a whole other store. Hmm. I smell something. Uh, mangoes? No, an idea. Huh. Hi, Orange. Be right with you. Almost done here. Everything under control. Good, because I desperately need your help with something. What is it, Strawberry? What do you need? Um, it's kind of personal. Do you have five minutes for a cup of tea at the cafe? Um, well, sure, I guess. Um, I'll just close up for a few minutes. Great. Don't worry, I'll have you back in a flash. <laughs> There. Back in a flash. So, I was saying, I need to ask you a favor. Anything? Well, I have this dream of... Custard? No! I said, that's not a toy! This... this dream of opening a side business. Yeah? How fun! Well, what kind of business? Well, that's the trouble. I have nothing to sell. Hmm... 
So that's where you come in. I was hoping you wouldn't mind if I sold Berrykin Bloom's next Berry Bitty Harvest in a sort of a um, produce marketplace. But only if you'd be willing to part with it. A marketplace? What a great idea! <laughs> Wait a minute. Are you doing this for me? Well, I'm, I'm doing it mostly because it would be fun for me. And fun for me, too! Not to have to run my store and sell all those fruits and veggies. I don't know why I didn't let you help me before. I'm so wiped out. Do you think the girls would mind helping me get my store cleaned up? Done! Oh, you are all so sweet! Thank you. You always help us, Orange. Why wouldn't we help you? Well, we all need to help Strawberry. Because she's opening up a new marketplace! We're on it! <laughs> well, looks great, everyone. I think that's enough for one day. I can take it from here. Thank you so much for helping me get started. You're welcome. Sure, no problem. Problem. Anytime. Strawberry. Goodbye. See you tomorrow, Strawberry. Emergency! What is it, Berrykin Bloom? It's my new plant food that shrinks the fruits and veggies to our size. It also shrinks the time from seed to harvest. I've got a new crop coming in only two weeks. Oh, no! This marketplace has to be built in half the time. Girls, come back. 